Welcome back to the channel. I'm on the 2024 CBR 650R with E-Clutch. And today I'm gonna to be answering your most frequently asked questions. Let's get into it. All right, let's start with the number one most asked question that I get about the E-Clutch system. Is it automatic? No, it is not. Easy answer, right? There's a clutch lever right here. There's a shift pedal down there. The bike will never shift for you. You have to shift the gears every single time. It's closer to having a bike with a quick shifter on it than it is an automatic. And then I'll drop down and I'll show you what I mean. Let's see if we can hit the red line before I get up to traffic. You can see it just starts flashing asking me to shift up, right? Let me go ahead and slow down. So it'll never shift up for me. You have to shift the bike, therefore not automatic. All right, I'm glad we cleared the air about that. <laughs> Honda does have an automatic clutch system for some of their motorcycles. That would be the Honda DCT, or dual clutch transmission. That is a true automatic experience. So if you're looking for something like that, where you don't have to shift the gears at all, you don't have to use your foot to shift gears, that's what you're gonna want. The next most commonly asked question that I get is how does the E-Clutch differ from a quick shifter? That needs its own video by itself. Quick answer to that one is if you are familiar with how a uh, quick shifter works, with the E-Clutch, you can go in and out of neutral without using the clutch, whereas with the quick shifter, you can't do that. You have to use the clutch to go in and out of neutral. And with the E-Clutch, if I come to a red light and I wanna slow down and stop, as you can see, I'm in first gear, completely stopped at a red light. I'm not holding the clutch in and the bike does not stall. With a quick shifter, that would not be the case. You would have to be holding the clutch in or shift into neutral if you wanna remove your hands off of the handlebars. And then again, unlike a quick shifter, I can take off in first without using the clutch. You would have had to use the clutch with a quick shifter. I'll make a full video comparing this bike with another bike that has a quick shifter on it so you guys get a better idea. But that's kind of the most basic difference, kind of off the bat. Oh, another very commonly asked question is, is there a vibration around 6K RPMs in first gear? And I think you can hear it. There definitely is a vibration. Everyone that has this bike says that it's there. So I don't know what it is, if it's a problem, if it's something to worry about or not. I don't think it is. Right there, you can hear it. All right, as I get on the freeway here, hopefully if traffic allows, I can uh, rip through some gears for you here and you can see how accelerating is with the E-clutch enabled. Just like that, you can see I don't have to take my hand off the gas. I don't have to pull the clutch lever in. All I have to do is flick up with my foot and I'm in the next gear. And of course, it's the same on the way down. See, the, the downshifts are just as smooth as the upshifts. There isn't necessarily an auto blipper on this, so it doesn't like rev match for you, but it, it kind of does something similar um, where it you know allows a very smooth downshift to happen either way. Some people have asked me like, what happens if you try to rev match when the E-clutch is enabled? So I'll just, I'll give you an idea here. I'm about to downshift, I'm in fourth gear at, at 6K RPMs, I'll downshift. It just, it just takes off, you know what I mean? There's no like rev match because you're never in neutral, essentially. I think this is my exit. So you can see here as we hit the off ramp here, Smooth downshifts before the turn. 
I think that's a big uh, question people were asking was, you know, is it smooth? Is it a clunky experience? Is it noticeable? And it, it really isn't. Um, shifting up and down is very smooth. I've, I've really never had issues with it. I think one time it, the system got confused and it was in like, uh, it was like halfway between two gears for like a split second. And you can see it's, the computer s sometimes gets confused and like it won't show which gear you're in and then it'll put you into neutral. That is probably one of the only issues that I've ever had with this bike is that right there. When going from first to second, if you don't give it a hard enough click up, it kind of gets stuck halfway in between. You saw it happen there. Like I wasn't in neutral, but I wasn't in second, right? It, it, it's weird. Other than, I'm glad that I got that on camera. Other than that issue though, literally there haven't been any other problems. The boys tracked my location and met up with me. <laughs> so no longer a solo ride. But back to these questions. So another question I get all the time is, can you use the clutch lever while you're in the e-clutch mode? And the answer is yes, you can. And of course you can use it for downshifts too. And it works just how a normal clutch should and would work. So yes, at any point that you want, you can go ahead and activate the clutch lever. You can feather the clutch out to go, you know, slower. So yeah, you can fully use the clutch whenever you want. I personally don't find myself using the clutch very often because it's just more work. I have to release the throttle, I have to pull the clutch in, I have to shift the gear, I have to get back on the gas. It's just like, sure, I can, but like, I don't want to, you know, like just being honest, it's just way more convenient to just shift gears like that, you know? But it is nice to have the option. Uh, I wouldn't have got this bike if it was automatic right like if it if it, there was no clutch lever at all and you couldn't use the clutch lever i wouldn't be interested the reason that i was interested in this bike is because you have the option to do both as you see me just naturally going for the clutchless shift on that <laughs> and i'll shift with the clutch and then I'll shift without the clutch, just so you guys can see. Like, I can do it literally back to back. Like, it, it doesn't matter. The way to know if the e-clutch is activated or not is right here. That's e-clutch activated, the green light. When I pull the clutch lever in, that light turns off. You, you can see that, right? Which means my e-clutch turns off and I'm in the manual mode now, right? So, yeah. That's just to uh, dispel any fears that you're locked into clutchless shifting when you have the e-clutch on. That is not the case. Okay, for the last question that I'm gonna answer on this video, everybody asks me if you can disable the e-clutch motor, if you can turn off the e-clutch entirely and just have a standard manual shifting bike. The answer is yes. You have to be completely stopped and the bike has to be in neutral when you do it. You're gonna open up the menu, go to the settings, e-clutch, and we'll go ahead and turn it off. So now this is off. You notice the e-clutch light is turned off. And if I go home to the main menu, there's now an M right here under the N, letting me know that I'm in the full manual mode. Now I'm gonna do some riding in the manual mode to show you guys. I'm gonna do this on purpose here. Notice that if I try to do what I do with the e-clutch and shift directly into first without the clutch, the bike stalls, okay? So yeah, it operates just like any other bike when the e-clutch is off. Let's go ahead and turn it back on here. All right, and then shifting through the gears. Same process, you're gonna go off the throttle, pull the clutch, back on. And the same thing for downshifts. I would personally rather just leave it on. And if I don't wanna use it, I don't, you know what I mean? But turning it off completely seems like you're limiting yourself 
or you're taking away features from the bike. Whereas having it on is just like, yeah, I can shift gears normally whenever I want, but I can also not use the clutch. So yeah, that is the full manual mode on the CBR 650R with E-Clutch. Go back to neutral here, put it back into the E-Clutch mode. And just like that, I can shift back into first, no clutch needed. I could take off, no clutch needed and I could shift no clutch needed. So just with the press of a button in the settings, you're able to turn off the E-clutch or turn it back on. It's completely up to you whether you use it or not. And like I said, it's just added features, right? Having the E-clutch on, in my opinion, doesn't take away from the riding experience whatsoever. Oh, I just took a wrong turn. Plenty of sport bikes, uh, you know, R6s, R1s, uh, RSV4s, Ducatis, whatever the case is, ZX6R, ZX4RR, they all have quick shifters up and down. Some of them just have up, you know, whatever. Point is, this is not something that, you know, no other bike has. It's just a new version of it with a couple extra cool features, like, you know, being in first gear at a red light without pulling the clutch. Oh, and bonus question that I get a lot is, can you still rev bomb when the E-clutch mode is enabled? And of course you can. <laughs> of course you can. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I appreciate you checking it out. If you found it helpful, leave a like down below. Comment your questions, and maybe I'll answer them on the next version of this video. But again, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.